I want to share with you how to gain a designer wardrobe on a budget, a wardrobe value of almost $5,000 for only $327. Hey, I'm Serena Dot Ryan. I run Dotterized e-commerce agency. I'm a mum of two. Hey, my son said, hey mum, don't you like spending time with us? He stopped me in my tracks to realize I'd had it all around the wrong way. I was working so hard, I couldn't see the very reason in front of me why I started my business. And that was to have quality time with my kids. It all starts with better budgets. And here are the steps I followed to make it happen. I start with looking at my wardrobe and what I have available. I was one of those people that only wore 10% of my wardrobe every day. It was what was clean and functional and comfortable. Typically I'm wearing my favorite Kmart leggings because they're comfy. All these incredible clothes that are sitting in my wardrobe aren't being worn. That is money. I like my money right where I can see it, hanging in my closet. There are two ways to look at it. There could be clothes in your wardrobe that are worth money that you could go on and sell elsewhere, such as on Gumtree or eBay. I focused on what I could make the most of in my wardrobe. Of all things, I didn't know the opportunities I had with regards to my clothing and my wardrobe until I went and spoke with a stylist, someone who understands clothing, body shape and color. So you can make the most of the clothes that you have or find gaps in your wardrobe for what you could need to complete your wardrobe. Through curiosity, I met with Antoinette Stonham to find out how I could do it better. Now, I've been a client of hers to initially help me over that phase of being a mum who had fallen into wearing sweatpants and she's helped me to see there are other ways to look at clothes and fit my body shape without blowing my budget. She gave me a suggestion I never expected and that was go op shopping. Having a chat with her when I said to her look I have shopped with you before you've taken me into shops where I've gone and spent money at retail price and Whilst I can advocate for that, if you save the money and you want to go and spend it, fantastic. I am making a habit out of making the most of the money that I have and trying my best not to spend money. I was like, really? Op shops would be able to help me with getting high quality clothes that I want that don't feel like they're second hand. I realized that I needed someone that first time to hold my hand and take me in to see what was possible. We went to the Newtown Red Cross shop. I love how it is laid out. It immediately caught my eye, the color palettes in front of me, and I see them all. The beauty of the store there was that it was inviting for me to go and browse. I found colors that I was drawn to. In that moment, I started to see and become curious. What surprised me was actually the amount of tags still on clothes. Something to be mindful of if you go into op shops is that they don't all have the same consistency, but look at the opportunity, the opportunity to find something that has the tags on that hasn't been worn, that was hanging in the back of someone's wardrobe. Kind of like my wardrobe where I was only wearing 10% of my wardrobe for years and I've got a lot of clothes in there. Those clothes that were never worn, that were donated. I ended up walking out with 14 pieces for $327 and that was because I was willing to go and explore an op shop. And the other cool benefit of that is that when you go op shopping, you're buying clothes that have already had a life in some way. They've already been out in a retail store, someone's already bought them at retail price and they've gone and hung in a wardrobe and they may or may not have been worn. That has already put it out into the environment. And when you go and buy those clothes at a fraction of the price, particularly at a Red Cross shop, you have this incredible opportunity to help the environment and also those who are doing good work in our society to help those who are vulnerable or in need. So you're not only getting clothes for yourself at a good price, you're actually getting clothes that are giving back to the community. And that was something I'd never actually thought about before, is like how that actually gives back. Go op shopping, you can help your own budget, help the community, and help the environment. And my bonus tip, put a reminder in your diary at the beginning of every season to regularly go back and check your wardrobe, see what is being worn, what you could possibly donate, what you could possibly sell, put money back into your budget that way too, or give yourself that freedom to see that it is possible to gain what you would like by not overspending your money. Sometimes I find things 
the back of my wardrobe to wear and it's like I've already been shopping <laughs> and I love that feeling like this shirt this shirt I actually bought back in oh geez what was it 2013 and it's been in my wardrobe for nearly two years and I've worn it twice in a week from Q I believe I've got to actually think and check that now what is it that's in your wardrobe that is an absolute find you forgot you had let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're finding in your wardrobe. And while you're there, have you tried op shopping yet? I wanna know all about it. And are there some cool op shops I could be trying? Cause I'd love to go and explore more. I'd love to see what is possible. I'm sure there is some incredible op shops I could be exploring in Sydney or hey, an opportunity maybe to go to Melbourne or, oh, I'd love to add them to a bucket list. Maybe I could do a tour of op shops. Who knows, anything is possible. This is all my lived experience of figuring out creatively how to be better with what I have without going to the step of earning more, I'm here to share with you all those fun things I've learned along the way. You wanna make sure you don't miss any of the videos as I publish new ones each Tuesday. Subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in the comments.